You're not gonna get this at your local dog house. Trust me. Whoa, look at that, look at that. It can't wait to jump on that. It's a work of art, man. All right, let's see here. Uh, heating up a pan on this uh, old camp chef here. Whoa, that's cool, man. They never die, never go to the dump. So what uh, temperature are we looking to get this up? We want to heat some water, is that? We're going to keep it around 300. 300? Yeah. So you're just, uh, we're going to what? Oh, I see, we're simmering some dogs. These are natural casings. We're going to parboil some, yep. And he's parboiling. And so what is this recipe going to be? It's going to be some coney dogs. Coney dogs? Yes. But it's not it's where you think. It's our yeah. take on coney yeah, dogs. Yeah, yeah, so very cool. So we got the setup here going today. Yeah, so these aren't uh, Coney Island, which you would typically think of, right? The classic Coney Island dog. This is not chili dog. This is a Coney dog from... Uh, these are, it's a little bit of a mix between Rhode Island and yeah. Detroit. Yeah. A little bit of New York. Yep. Not really New York. Though. So cool. part of the technique is you uh, want to simmer it in a little bit of water. And the reason is helps break down the ground beef. Right? Mm -hmm. Make cool. it nice and fine. Yep. Oh man, these are gonna be awesome. A little slasher there, making sure everything is right. Oh yeah. All right. Breaking it down, you can see we're simmering a bit in there. And this is essential to uh, to get this ground beef right for this coney dog. Might have a, add a little more water. Gotta keep it nice and moist. See it almost starting to get pasty already. That's the trick. It's coming along good. Now, we're gonna add some seasoning here. We got some chili powder. So how much ground beef was that originally? Just about okay. a pound and a half. About a pound and a half typically, right? And chili powder, now we got the is it cayenne pepper. Cayenne, you gotta have the cayenne powder, pepper. This is a very, very important ingredient. Yep. Cloves, a little bit of clove. Doing about a teaspoon of clove, a little bit. Yeah. More Perfect. or less to your taste. Perfect. All right, the cumin. Gotta have the cumin. Get a little of that background barbecue taste, right? You got the yeah. cumin. Garlic powder. Garlic powder. Got to have the garlic powder. I see the neighbors are getting real excited on the <laughs> other side of the fence. Huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah the animals pepper. know when the pit boys are cooking. Now we got uh, fine black pepper on that. Yep. I told you this is real easy to do. Gonna need some butter. So take your handy knife. Is that about a tablespoon? Yeah. Okay. All right. Oh, man. The smells, man, are outrageous. But hot dogs are still simmering. You gotta do the simmer first for the dogs to make this work. Now we got some cinnamon. Oh, yeah. Cinnamon, clove. I'd say we got some uh, sea salt, rock salt. Yeah, about a teaspoon. Yep, about a teaspoon going in. Mm -hmm. That's it for now, and I'll just let it simmer and right. put a cover on it. You're not going to get this at your local dog house, trust me. You want to cover it? About 35 minutes, 40 minutes. And they're going to cook it how long about? About 35, 40 minutes until all the water is boiled off. Oh yeah, that's good. Cool. And right. add a, probably add a little more butter down the road. Yeah. All right, nothing to do now but kick back and relax. Just checking on, it's working really good. Doing a little taste test. Yeah, we're about a tablespoon of spices each. Yep. Oh, you can see how it's coming together. Now, where did this uh, recipe come from? Well, I first had it in Rhode Island yep. at a place called New York System. Yeah. Onlyville, and they're they're pretty much. The New England staple for, for Coney dogs. Oh, yeah. But they don't call them Coney dogs there, they call them hot wieners. Right, right. 
This is a mix between a Detroit Coney and a Rhode Island Hot Wiener. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is gonna be good. Of course, there's your wieners, your dogs. Perfect. Add a little bit more butter there. More butter in there. Nice. Yep. Gotta have onions. Look at that. Look how white that onion is. <laughs> That's a pretty onion. You wanna mm. want that on a nice garden salad. Yep. Slasher here is our resident onion professor. Oh, yeah. You wanna know about onion slasher? Can tell you about it. Jeez, I think we're going to war with that knife. Mm -hmm. What the heck? Courtesy of Frank. Yeah. Oh no. Mm. Courtesy of what was his name? Yeah. Courtesy of Frank. for the fine dice. That's for after. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh! Come along. Look at that sweet butter right in the middle. So, a little pad of butter. The dogs have been pre-simmered, and the reason is we don't want the dogs to blow up on this uh, on this griddle top here. So, add a little bit of butter. The skin will definitely rip, and yeah, that's right. If you don't pick it up the temperature easy. Yeah. We're gonna get the right texture with the butter too in that fry. Do some natural casing. Yep. Always use the natural casing if you can. Yeah? Oh, look at that. Look at that. It can't wait to jump on that. See how these are browning up? There's a lot to do with the butter. Now, the preparation of the hot dog bun is just as important as everything else on this recipe. So we're going to steam them. This obviously softens up the bread. Oh yeah. Oh, it smells good. Oh, man. Again, take your time, get it right. Look at that. Okay, all right. Yeah, it is done. Look at that. Take your time. All right, it's ready. Now, steamed roll. That's a New England style. got to have the onion. If you don't like onions, you're on the wrong damn channel. So now, grab the yellow mustard. I do it just pretty. Or you can put a ton on it. And then the celery salt is the very important. Put it in your hand first, yep, yep. and then pinch it on. Yep. So it's very, very, not very, very good. There you go. Sorry, I'm not going to do that. Nope, you got to be very careful. You know, Sorry. Too much on just a little bit, right? They are perfect. I think i got to eat this now, right? I, I can't. I'm not sure if I can wait for four or five feet. I think that would be good. Put mustard on all of them, right? Same way. Yeah. Right after celery salt, you should do that. Pretty much. Oh, my goodness. That gives it the flavor. Absolutely. Complex flavors. 
Mm. Just mm. come right on out here. Here we go. Little picture head, do a little picture for the fuck it is. Relax. Look at those. What do you think? Here we go. Good, different, right? Feed the cameraman. That is good. Exceptional. Fantastic. I drive all the way to Rhode Island. Oh, I, I've done that. Mm -hmm. That crisp with that hot sauce. Oh my God, yep. the sauce is wonderful. Great job, chef. Mm -hmm. Look at this. And there's enough for another six, eight, whatever. Friday night at Fuel All Right.